Hi friend, I'm so excited to share Los Angeles' beautiful arts district with you. In this video, we're going to show you the best things to see, eat, and explore in the arts district. You'll instantly fall in love with all this neighborhood has to offer after watching this video, and you'll have a handful of recommendations for your next visit, straight from me, a local who's lived in LA for 15 years. So let's get started. Located right in downtown Los Angeles, the Arts District is a hub for art galleries, breweries, and trendy restaurants. If you love neighborhoods like Brooklyn or South Congress in Austin, you'll love the LA Arts District. The neighborhood has a brownstone industrial aesthetic that's also highly photogenic. Keep watching for highlights on the best dining, coffee shops, and attractions in the Arts District. And if you like this video so far, don't forget to subscribe. First up, let's head to Verve for a cup of coffee. It's a great coffee shop to get some work done, so feel free to bring your laptop and use the Wi-Fi. This location is the brand's flagship location. At 7,000 square feet, you won't be able to resist the delicious smell of coffee in the air here. Plus, the interior is impeccably designed. And of course, the coffee is delicious and hand-roasted daily. Verve uses a direct trade sourcing model, which involves paying premium for quality and investing in coffee communities at origin. After you get a little coffee buzz going, you could head over to the new 6th Street Bridge. An architectural wonder, this is the largest and most expensive bridge the city has ever built. Designed by architect Michael Maltzan, the bridge is pedestrian friendly, although not quite bike friendly, according to a story I read in the LA Times. I love the views of the skyscrapers, palm trees, and the mountains. A lot of gritty beauty all in one glance from here. Next up, let's talk about food. The Arts District is known all across LA for its hopping dining scene. There's literally so many restaurants in this part of town. For a more luxurious dining experience, head to Girl and the Goat, Manuela, LA Cha Cha Cha, or Bestia. If you're feeling a more laid back vibe, try Cafe Gratitude, De La Nona, or my favorite place of all, Wurschkirsch. You can get a classic bratwurst here or try something a little bit more exotic like a hot Italian, mango jalapeno, or Hungarian heat. They even have a rattlesnake and rabbit sausage. Top it off with ketchup and gourmet mustard. Then order a beer from an extensive selection of German and Belgian varieties on tap. When you're done eating, don't forget dessert. The Pie Hole just across the street is one of locals' favorite places to get a sweet treat and a coffee. Order a whole pie, or you can just try a slice of Mom's Apple Crumble Pie, the Earl Grey Tea Pie, the Mexican Chocolate Pie, and so many more flavors. And of course, you can also just get a small bite like we did if you can't decide which flavor. We ordered a delicious two bite blueberry pie hole. When you've had your fill of food, take a walk through the streets of the Arts District and get a look at all the inspiring street art. You'll see plenty of provocative, larger than life paintings in the brightest colors imaginable. Many by artists including David Puck, L. Mack, Miles McGregor, Colette Miller, and more incredible talents. Last but not least, let's get into a historical background of the Arts District. This neighborhood has been around since the city of Los Angeles was first founded. In 1876, three major transcontinental railroads had depots, buildings, and warehouses in the Arts District. The era of industrialization involved manufacturing machinery goods, furniture, printing and publishing materials, auto parts, and more. The entire area was zoned for retail and manufacturing, 
and there wasn't any residential at all. By the end of World War II, companies had begun to move away to larger factories outside of LA. The warehouses then stood vacant until about the 1970s when artists from Venice and Hollywood moved into live work studios at a more affordable price than those other neighborhoods. Art galleries began to open up and soon the city implemented an artisan residence program, which legalized the use of industrial buildings for artists. Finally, in the 1990s, the neighborhood was officially coined as the Arts District by Joel Bloom. There's actually a gigantic mural by Allison Human dedicated in honor of Bloom, depicting a bouquet of flowers held by the artist's hands. It's beautiful. Today, the Arts District is still a creative center and home to companies like Spotify, Califia Farms, and Honey. Thanks for exploring the Arts District with me. Did you like this video? Check out my guide to LA's Little Tokyo next, and be sure to subscribe for more mindful travel content.